Cassandra is nowhere to be found. I was like, ah, how come like she's not here after like a long period of time? Okay. So I started calling the neighbors like I started calling her, and he went there, he's knocking, nobody's responding. So and I had to leave the quiz and stay rushing back home. Okay. So my greatest surprise opened the door and I saw her lying down on the flat um, floor, lifeless. Okay. So and I started screaming for put help me or help help. We just started pouring her water. Then at some point we revived that. Hello people, it's your boy Skidok Comedy, aka the next governor. Today again we learned that we can do that to us do best. Um, today matter, it get as it take no one be. Today matter, it chop belly full. Like overfeeding, they worry this very issue. This matter, wear something way past sneakers. In fact, this matter, wear rain boot on top of wrapper, not tie, corn use gele finish shop. This is just to tell you how serious this very issue is. This matter, now this sister here, and she bring this matter to my table. When I went through her email, I was touched and I decided to give her an appointment today so that she will come for see her to look into what she is complaining about. But without wasting anybody's time, let you know be as if I'm the one telling you guys this story. I would like us to go and meet this sister here so that she will narrate this story to you guys exactly the same way she emailed it to me that made me to invite her down to this place. But before then, fans, if you want to reach out to me, if you want to contact me, the one and only way you can get through to me is by my email, which is skitlordcomedy at gmail.com. My number is not on social media. Please note this and treat as important. Skitlord Comedy will never DM you first. I will never call or email you first for any reason at all. So if anybody should do that to you, I beg you, demand for a video call. This video call is just to be sure you are talking to the right person before you start transacting whatsoever business you want to transact with this said person in the name of Skit Lord Comedy. Why I'm saying this is because Skit Lord Comedy will never be held responsible for anybody with a scam. Yes, I will not be held responsible. Please do not allow yourself to be used and don't fall a victim. As you continue to throw Skit Lord Comedy to stop, they tell, as you continue to be a royal and faithful fan, may God bless you now and always. Amen. Now, may we dive into the matter we bring us come here this afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay, please um, speak out. What's the name? Jane. Jane. Okay, Jane, how are you doing? I'm not fine. All right, I understand you are not fine. So, Jane, um, please, um, this story you emailed to me that uh, made me to invite you down to this place, I would want you once again to narrate this story to Ox. The reason why I said us is that if you look, you will see camera. We are recording this program and the world is watching. With me here is my seer who, by grace of God, he sees secrets and deep things. And he also knows when someone is telling lies. So I would appreciate if you narrate this story to them, more especially to my seer, so that he will look into it to know the advice and solution he has to give to you concerning this very issue that is happening around you. So please speak out as you tell us this your story. Thank you. Good afternoon once again. All right. My name is Jane. Okay. And I'm here on behalf of my friend Sandra. Okay. All right. So how about this your friend Sandra? Well, my friend Sandra started having stomach pain one fateful night. It's been for months now. Okay. Then on that fateful day, Okay, we just sit stomach ache, let's just go to the pharmacy. Okay. So when we went there, okay, they prescribed some drugs for us. Okay. And then we came back, she took it. Hmm. She felt a little better, just very little. Okay. So we went back there again, told the ph um, pharmacies that, I don't know, the thing is coming back like, 
as if like I mean, after taking the drugs the thing that she felt a little bit better but the thing did not stop yes it did not okay. stop okay so the man said that okay that maybe she can run some tests in the hospital okay so we went to the hospital the man said that they have to do some series of tests and then that we have to take a bed like so they ended us for three days okay so we stayed there she ran some tests then it came out as high typhoid okay so okay then it starts treating the sickness okay. after the three days she felt better so went to okay so like for like a week or so she was good okay then let that it started again so spinning her like severe like so 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 bad so we now had to call her dad okay her dad now said that since you have gone to the pharmacist and then gone to hospital that maybe let's try out herbal medicine okay so we went, met the herbalist so okay the father sent us some money okay so we met herbalist then mm, he gave us some you no know, herbal medicines okay then she drank them like that, that one like worked like for two weeks if she was good okay then again she stays in her stomach her stomach her stomach ah it was now like very very stressed like hmm. like after feeling good for two weeks the thing now became came back and became more serious yes okay it became like very very serious so when i said let's try out like all this white garment church okay so Huh? When they did some, you know, they said we should get candle, you know, this blue kind of white, red candle, black candle, whatever, pigeon, all those stuff. So we brought them home. They did some cleanse and they even carried us, they carried us the water and she took, and she took her bath then. Okay. Hmm? It worked. But now they even like, just like a week safe. Okay. It started again like with full force, like it was very, very serious. Okay, like um, this sickness is like, let me s take it like it's something like they are removing this thing. If you if she goes somewhere, this the thing will have come down, and before you know it, it will come back again. Like somebody is controlling it off and on, off and on. Yes. Okay. So after that one, and I said that we should try, and um, let's 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 just try it pastors. Okay. So when we went pastors. Okay, oh, he didn't give us some fasting and prayer, so we should pay huge money for big Thanksgiving and all that. Okay. That was wrong with her. Yeah, that let they just say that a spiritual husband that uh that she's a spiritual husband so that we so they can do some cleanse now that we should do Thanksgiving with big money, all those stuff. Okay. And we should do some prayer and fasting. Okay. Well, we did the prayer and fast now. Mm. As God have his stay getting better. Okay. Then one faithful day, like I was, we went. Okay, we wanted to go for the quiz we had. Okay, as in go to school. Yes. Okay. So I went there. Let's go. She now said that I should be going. That she's coming. Okay. okay. Then I left. Then I was now in school. Like I looked, I've not seen her. Okay. Sandra is nowhere to be found. I was like, ah, how come? Like she's not here after like a long period of time. Okay. So I started calling the neighbors. Like. That's the question. He went there. He's knocking. Nobody's responding. So and I had to leave the quiz and start rushing back home. Okay. So my greatest surprise, I opened the door and I saw her lying down on the flat, um, floor, lifeless. Okay. <sighs> so and I started screaming for put help, me help, help. We just started pouring her water. Then at some point we revived her. Okay. So that's how it has been since so. So, um, why all this thing is going on? Why didn't you people call her family, like her parents? Aside because you said you called her parents, uh, dad, and the father sent money for herbal medicine. That since you guys have tried hospital and pharmacy, that you should try herbal. Okay, since you people went for herbal, and it seems everything became good, and after some period of two weeks, it came back worse. Why didn't you reach out to the father to tell the man that? this thing is not something you people can handle and you left the girl in school in the same okay she's your roommate yes. okay and you left her in the room had it been something happened to this girl what will you say well we thought it was a minor case so that's why we left her parents because we think that he, she's fine that she's good so as i would not contact her parents again okay he thought is what you people can handle and yes. um, but my dear jane 
next time if such a thing is happening around you first thing you, you will do as you got you've gone to the chemist fine and you went to the hospital fine the next thing is to bring the family of that very person into the very the issue to avoid you answering to something you know nothing about because when somebody buy <laughs> i wonder because the case will become something x you will be you will answer a query like what and what did you give to her it will look as if you are the one that buy this person so whenever anything like this is happening around you get the person's family involved let them come and see to their daughter that is you will try as a friend as a friend you have to try do the ritual you can do then when that your ritual is not enough call the family i'm telling you this thing because of next time so um after you people revived her pour her water and she you guys revived her what happened again it's like after three days the station became like worse again like she couldn't, she couldn't even stand up, she couldn't like even move herself like very well. Okay. I was in the one like beating her, helping her to do a lot of things. Okay. Okay, then mm, after some time again, she began to think like just on and off. Like after some time she became better again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as God they have it one one after now, just screen through YouTube. Then I saw your program and I saw post similar cases. Okay. Then I decided to email you. Okay. But you didn't respond, like you didn't reply me early though. But like as God they have it, I was just screening on that day. Then I saw that you replied and said that if I could come here today and I'm here today. Alright. Um so the bottom line of all everything is that you are here to stand in for your friend because of your friend who has been sick for several months now. Okay. Um this your friend now. Is she still in school or she has gone back home? Mm, she's at home now. Okay, she has gone to her family house okay no problem i heard what you said and before i will go further to say what i want to say i really do want to appreciate you for coming yeah i want to appreciate you also for being a good friend because it is not everybody that will do what you are doing it's not everybody that will leave his or her own thing to come standing for a friend hmm? so i really do appreciate you thank you very much for coming Mm? at the point of your need you will not lack help someone will stand in for you just as you stood in for your friend eh? i pray by grace of god your coming to this place will bring a solution to her life mm? all right no problem thank you very much for reaching out to us people you guys have heard her story of how her friend has been sick she said this thing started with stomach pain she started complaining of stomach pain. They went to the pharmacy, from there to the hospital. They went to White Garment Church, to Habaris, down to church. Then what is happening is still happening. But thank God that finally the girl is home with her parents. But she just decided to reach out to me to see if we can help her. That she was going through youtube when she came across our program and she saw similar case to what is happening to her friend and decided to reach out to other who might be of help no problem she's welcome just like we always say we will do our part and leave the rest to god so fans without wasting anybody's time i'm going to bring sia into this very issue let's hear what sia has to say concerning what this young girl told us first of all we have to find out if what's happening to her friend her roommate is spiritual or just ordinary sickness then if there's any other thing sia has to say concerning it sia will go ahead and tell us sia because what i can Osi 
hewe gane ba na elogu we gu e na elogu na ehi ko wachale ehi na eme ya bu nwata kiri nwai ewe logu we ye uwe ngucha ya bogu odika ya bihi hapo se omani tekwe ozo hewe na chiazu na nki uwe na elogu we gu e na ehi na eme ya bu e na elogu we gu e na omego nko okwe sile ime no weze hozo na ya ga ha ga un ogu ga le ya bu nwata kire wai ule ka amalu ihe na eme ya amalu ihe ha na etrit ewe ga un ogu ose na ha mere otutu ule di iche iche ewe ese na owe typhoid nke ndo ibona po typhoid na ya bi ihe bogo tere ofuma ofuma ewe ye bed na un ogu we etrit uya Asi ke tri chichi kwe ya, ode wakwa mwa. No miru kwa ubeloge, ya bi ye, ibido kwa ozo, ode ki ya na abwayo, na abwaye. Ode ki ya na abwayo, na abwaye. He isi ya ba hon. Asi ka haga, abon na ya bo watakire wanye. Na ya bo watakire wanye, wwe sende ya do hego, wwe se ha. Ebo bu na ha gago, na kemis gano na ogu. Ha gana nkendi nele, ogu mborogu. Hewe gano ogu mbolo ogu gote ya bo ogu. Kaya bo mwa takire wwa yengu cha ya bo ogu. Osiri ni izu e bwa. Na ya bo mwa takire wwa yewe tere uwea. Ofumo ofuma. No wolo iye na emia. Manu oge ne ete la haka. Ya bi ye manite we ozo. Manite e bo kanjo. Ewe e buria. Bwaga wwa. No no onde e bele. Ono ondo kawait. Ase ha wote kando. Wote piji ngote ye ni ne di ichi ichi ase ha wote gasi ke wwe chwa aja. E wote se ya bi ye a chwa ya ba aja. Asi kwa nwa poro ya bo mwa takire nwa ye gana miri gasa ya alo. Osi ke me chikwe ye nwa na be me che ye ya bi ye. Odi ka ya ba alo a watu. E fukwe ya ubi do kwa ozon. Odi ka ya ba alo a nago ya bi ye ubi do kwa ozon. E ba an ka ha si zi wwe se ka ha gana on no ka. Ewe gano nuka, ebo nyo zi chuku se, han ihe ne me ya bo mwa takire nwa ye. No, di miri ne me ya, nkendo ibo na bo, spiritual husband. We ye hebele hage me. Kwe ye chedo hebele, so hana hage iwe te kwe ego, na hage me, thanksgiving. Na hage e kene chuku. Os na hame se ye ni na. Ka hame che ya bi ye, ode kwa kaya bo aroko anaro. So, kaya ba wala wako na kwa. Osi no uwe tu bosi. Na hawe ule hato yi neno na wako kwa mwa hadu meba hana aga. Uwe si ya bo watakiri nwa yi. Ana bo Sandra. Be ye nwa yi ya nebi nono. Ya bi yaka aga wako. Ya bo watakiri siya ya aga wano ona abya. Uwe lu na wako kwa. Uge je nene ya bo ule we lu. Oflo ya bo. E ye nwa yi bo Sandra. Opo uwe na foun. Kwa opo uwe na foun o de pig. Opo nebo ha. Nebo ha ga. Sina ana api oolo ye kwe reza. Owe we rojo. Hapu yabu ne hato yi ne no na kuko we warona ba. Osi ko na lupo pe uzo ha. Owe fu na yabi ye nwa e sandra dinazi a ane. Na ane nkete. Na ode kuzi ume. Ewe bido ba uwe miri. Ka hapu wagi de ya miri. Ka chuku o kikese mihe. Nyabu watakire nwa e. E kwenye. Kwa kwa ni ya bihe, osi na ya bihe kawalo njwa. Uwe no ya wa jizaki eme ihe ni ni. No ya wa nasa ya bo wa takire alo. Ni ye ni. Ni meri ya ihe ni ni. Mwe si ya mbu ihe ane me. Iwa enu na polo ya bo wa takire nwa. Ona alo ni na ni ya. Una choko una ri unu naka. Osi mna hache no ihe ha wili iki ime u. Mwe juze ya kebe ya bo wa takire nwa inu uwa. Asi na apona ni na ni ya. Aporo gye no no beha uwa. Nse ya oke, nwa kama utang. Osi nwa nga na social media, uwe fi ya ine eme, uwe masi ya. Uwe si kuzi tela yuzi. Nuzi ya kuzi tela yike mbwe. Mana ya zari ya. Mati nwa mbose ya kwa ona, ona chila azu, uwe fu, na mizi tegori yuzi. Uwe si ya ipia nwa bose nketa, nwa ya meroji uwe ipia. Osi niye meroji uwe ipia, nwa choke ene bagoda ya niye neme wane, e ye wwa ya an, kwa on ma lo ka, a kam ma da de na ya bi ye, kwa ka si ti wè chok, kwa on mwa on e me, mwè si ki bi kodo do do, ne tu furo gò bu na, 
ni baguda ya ni hane eme ke igwanyi ebe mili suwe ba upi ubogiri ekene kwa ngyozo <coughs> okay, see, I want to say something. See, I be go gani ru wam ehe chopota na ya be he ana me genti. Nizo kwezi yoku. Mhm. Nya be fe. Mhm. Ambaro kwa na kacha cha. Okay, see, I said truly, truly that what is happening to your friend Sandra is not ordinary. Si ya na mege nti hii ni yiku. Mana. Ato mike ne nyambo mwa takele wanyi. Bute lo kueba. Ok si ya said he wants to say. Thank you. He wants to appreciate you. For bringing this very issue. Down to this place. As in for standing in for your friend. Si ya na mege nti hii ni yiku. Maka na. Odiro kwa nizi. He said. Odiko ono dua. Okay, he said that it is not easy in this kind of situation to see someone who is standing for you. See, I'm a new here. Mm. Man, I'm not doa. Mhm. I'm not doa. Mhm. 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 Okay, see, I said that this situation that this young girl is, eh, that there is a saying that said, as in, before you cure a disease, that you first of all find out which, you find out the thing that caused that disease, as in the sickness, you must find out the root of it. See, I said See, I said that what he's seeing concerning this, your friend Sandra, is too deep. That she's in a very big problem. Hmm? See, I'm a new here. I'm a rom. Mana, obu ne mwelo. Koi yesi webia. Eme kanya bonga tawa anibia. Maka noro ae bo kwa no. Oh, afu oku. Awe efu wa sisi ya. Okay. See, I said... That he doesn't know that if there is any way we can invite this your friend down to this place so that she will come and explain what is happening to her by herself that is it is when he hears from the girl he will know exactly what to say about it but do not forget that he said that what is happening to her is not ordinary meaning that it is neither spiritual or somebody is behind it. See, I'm again to him. Ah, Onya bo, any maka fagi any la any na olua. Okay. Boy me, kanya bo matakele wa any biaba. Kaiwe maluka ise any diaka. Okay. See, I said the help you need to render to us now is to help us and make sure that this your friend get down to this place. So this your friend Sandra, can we get to see her? Yes. Like you know her place. Yes. Okay. Okay. See so what will happen here. You will give me her number. Hmm? We will try to call her to invite her down to this place. If she can come, fine. But if she cannot come, then I will send you to go and then um, bring her yourself. Hmm? I will send you to go and bring her yourself. But first of all, you give us her number. Let's call and try to see if we can see her. If she can come down to this place. Okay, see ya. Ya bo mwa takri mwa ye ye gom nom be ya. E ye mwa ye. Om gani ru me eko obi e ba. Ko wi ho zi chori yuku. Bo ye re ya bo kum. Nwa ro tutu kum wele yuku. 
mana gani lo meko bia na mbo bia zialo enwezi ya yiku basala ono dia nge mekwaze ke malo okay si i said he doesn't have much thing to say for now that we should go ahead and invite this young girl down to this place that when she comes here that is when he will say whatever he has to say so fans you guys have heard the story of what is happening to her roommate that brought her down to this place and you have equally heard what he has said consigning it number one is that what is happening to the young girl is not ordinary that is to say it is spiritual that is number one thing i hold hand here then he said that any other thing will be when this girl gets here and tell us how this thing is happening to her so please unanas will take duam already i don't need to explain things to you guys yeah we always want to hear from the horse's mouth. That is one thing you should know about this very program. We must hear from the horse's mouth before Sia will begin anything he wants to begin. So please, I would want you to follow up. You've seen this chapter. Watch out for the next chapter. Because the next chapter is going to say it all. Sia, by grace of God, is going to reveal to us exactly the source of the girl's sickness. Then he will tell us things he wants to do, at least to help the girl out of the situation she is in now. So please, I will appreciate if you guys stay tuned as I invite this young girl down to this place to hear from her don't be told don't be left out eh don't be left out so stay tuned and see how all these things going to play out thank you